I am studying on Duolingo every day right now. I think it's a fantastic app to learn a new language, but what I really don't like are the constant ad interruptions pretty much after every single lesson. At the same time, I don't want to pay for Duolingo Plus. I want to keep using it for free. So I was wondering if there is a way to use the app for free, but avoid all the ads. Well, turns out that there is, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Now, you might be thinking, okay, there's one ad after each lesson. How bad can that really be, right? But as you can see up here, I've been doing Duolingo lessons for 160 days in a row now, so you can imagine to how many ad interruptions that adds up to. This is when I started looking into possibilities on how to avoid all the ads while still not having to pay for the service. And by the way, if you're like me and you enjoy getting high quality content entirely for free, then make sure to subscribe to my channel and you're gonna be getting a lot more of that in the future. All right, so what I found out when I started looking more closely into Duolingo and how it's actually set up is that there is a functionality that not a lot of people use, but that can be very handy if you use it the right way. And that is the simple fact that Duolingo is also available through your browser. Of course, most people use the app just like I used to, and it is very convenient to go through the lessons one by one through the app but if you go to the browser, you will very quickly realize that it comes with some unique advantages. So let's say we do a lesson, like for example, this very beginner level of Chinese, and we finish the session, you can see that there is no ad playing automatically like it is the case on the app. Instead, you get one small static ad that you can totally ignore and that won't cost you any time. Just think about how much time that will save you in the long run. And that time that you're not wasting watching useless ads, you can instead spend on learning more of that language that you're interested in. I, for example, did close to 450 lessons in 2021 alone. After every single one of those lessons, I was served a 30 second ad by Duolingo. This then adds up to 275 minutes or 4.5 hours that I spent watching ads this year. I think we can all agree that this time would have been way better spent if I had spent it studying the language. Language. So if you're serious about learning a language and if you're committed to using Duolingo for it, I would highly suggest that you check out their browser functionality. It basically works exactly the same way as it does in the app with the big plus that you don't have to waste unnecessary time on useless ads. I hope that you try it out. I hope that you will find it as useful as I did. And if you're on Duolingo, feel free to share your username down in the comments below. Maybe I will follow you and we can get a little friendly competition going. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.